Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to stop high background data consumption on your PC or laptop. I'll share three simple settings that you can apply right now. Now, this problem usually affects people with limited data plans or those connected to a mobile data network through a hotspot. Often, users aren't aware of what's consuming so much data, even when they aren't actively using it. Let's dive into how to fix this issue. Now, the first thing, it's important to find what's consuming your data, whether it's a specific application or a service. To do this, let's right click on the Windows icon and click on the settings from the menu. In the left hand menu, select network and internet. Click on the advanced network settings. Find and click on the data usage. This will show you a detailed information about what's using your data and display a list of applications and services that have used the most data on your computer. For example, Microsoft Edge could be using data even though you're not using it. It's likely set up to start automatically with your computer. Each time you start your PC, it runs in the background and consumes data. Now to fix this, you can disable it from the startup. And for any application you don't need, you can uninstall it. From the left hand menu, let's click on apps and then select installed apps. Find any applications you don't use and have them uninstalled. Once done, go back and scroll down to the bottom and click on the start up section. Here, let's disable any apps that starts with your computer and consumes data. Once you're done, let's go back to settings and click on the offline maps. Click on maps updates, uncheck the option for update automatically when plugged in and on Wi-Fi. Next, from the left hand menu, click on privacy and settings. Under general, disable all four options here. Go back and click on speech, then disable it. Do the same for inking and typing personalization, diagnostics and feedback, and activity history. This will help reduce background data usage on your Windows PC. Now, if you're using Windows 10, you'll see an option called background apps. You'll need to disable it to stop all the background applications from running in the background. If you aren't using features like phone call, call history, radios, or messaging, you should disable all these options here. From the left menu, click on Windows Update and click on Advanced Options. You need to disable the following options. Receive updates for other Microsoft products. Get me up to date. Download updates over metered connections. Just keep notify me when a restart is required to finish update enabled. And these steps will help you reduce unnecessary data usage and manage updates more effectively. Then let's scroll down and click on delivery optimization. Disable the option that says allow downloads for other PCs. Next from the left hand menu, click on network and internet. Select your active connection type, either net or Wi-Fi. Scroll down to find the option for meter connections and enable this option. It will help you reduce data usage by adjusting how apps behaves when connected to the network. And that should help you manage your data more effectively. So these are the three key settings that will help you reduce high data consumption. Additionally, if you're not using OneDrive and it is still syncing on your computer, it's a good idea to disable or uninstall it. To do that, from the left hand menu, click on apps, select installed apps, in the search box, type OneDrive. If OneDrive appears in the list, click on the three dots next to it and choose uninstall. This will help prevent OneDrive from using data in the background. Now, if you're still experiencing high data consumption, even after applying these settings, you can set a data limit for your bandwidth. From the left hand menu, click on network and internet. Select advanced network settings, click on data usage, under data usage, find the option enter limit. Before clicking enter limit, 
select the appropriate internet connection from the drop down menu. If you want to set a limit for Wi Fi or Ethernet, click on limit. Choose whether you want to set the limit on a monthly, weekly, or daily basis and enter your desired data limit in megabyte or gigabyte. This will help you manage and control your data usage more effectively. Now, for example, if you want to set the data limit of 700 megabyte, enter 700 in the data limit field. Select megabyte from the drop down menu and click on save. And once you reach the 700 megabyte limit, your internet connection will be paused, which helps you keep track of your data usage and avoid exceeding your limit. All right, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.